Aloha, what's up my friends? Jason here and it is day six. Actually, it's day seven now, but I'm doing my day six review of the Master Cleanser. And I just wanna let everybody out there know that uh, yesterday was awesome. I was super high energy. I got an awful lot done, a lot of work, a lot of thinking. I actually cooked dinner for my girlfriend, Katie, and that was super cool that I was able to cook you know, this sweet smelling, tasty meal and not even give in and uh, really didn't even throw me off track one bit. Um, so to get started, yesterday was a big day in the garden for me. It was Sunday, normally I go to the beach and just relax, but um, I just felt like working the land and reconnecting with the earth. So I, I did some really cool stuff. I got my compost, I got a little system for my compost set up in here. Um, I put my scraps in there and then I've got a composting system outside. And I also uh, cleared a pretty big space, not a huge space, but it was, you know, about a half a day's work out here. And here we are. And you can take in some of that beauty. It smells so, it always smells like flowers in Maui. Every time I leave Maui uh, and go to LA and, and uh, sniff car exhaust or something for a while, no offense if you live in LA, but every time I come back to Maui, uh, I just love smelling, you know, the flowers, the aroma that's here in the air everywhere. So here's what I did. Uh, this was my little plot. I, I took all of those weeds out. That was, that was pretty hardcore. <clears throat> and I worked the soil, I laid some compost down, and I worked the soil. And then I've got a whole bunch of lettuce there on the right and some zucchini and cucumbers and tomatoes. And uh, then I have about six strawberry plants over there. And it rained all night. It wasn't a super hard rain, but I was just stoked that it rained because I know rainwater is really good um, for the plants here, for the food. And now my little babies are growing. So I'm really, really impressed that I did that and that I found the motivation, the drive within myself to do that because it's so easy just to go to the store and buy your food. And uh, that, that is... Uh, here on Maui, you know, going to the store is like uh, buying or paying a car payment every single week. I think I spend close to about, I would say on average, 300 three to 350 dollars a week on food, and I, a lot of my friends are just growing it on their own, and you know, they go to the store every once in a while. But um, yeah, just a smart thing to do, and not only that, um, it it helps you develop a, a relationship with the earth and really reconnect, and the plants actually teach you. Um, whether it's the right time for them to grow or not and normally I'm supposed to plant during the new moon but I just felt the urge you know the inner calling I was just listening to my intuition so I'm pretty sure that everything is going to go good and if it doesn't um, they'll teach me by dying and then I'll just have to plant some other stuff so today I'm gonna get some watermelons going and I've got my friend Chris from Maui Kombucha coming over and we're gonna get we're gonna get going some more composting and some more space because I have a lot of space here and uh, the potential to grow a lot of food. So, didn't mean to go off track with the gardening, but that's just kind of where my experience led me. And another thing that I was thinking about, because I, you know, I, I receive a lot of insights, and one of the things that I was thinking about is like how important it is to really do what you love in life and to not work for money and how miserable it was for me for so many years to do things just for money and how bad that really sucked. It, it sucked so bad. And it's very important to step into your passions in life. And for a lot of people, they have to figure that out. I know I had to figure that out. And I had to really look back in my life on you know a lot of my past events and memories and what really fueled my fire, what really excited me. And uh, to me, it was always um, teaching. I love to teach. And I also looked at my interactions and all my relationships through all my friends and you know my tribes in the past. And I always knew that I was kind of a trailblazer. I was a leader and I was leading the path. And I don't... I would always be one of the first to step into the unknown and grow. Uh, so I know that I'm a leader and I know that I'm a teacher and, and that's why I'm so passionate about coming out here on these videos and just being able to share my insights and this knowledge with everybody uh, because I know it's benefiting a lot of people's lives. I know that you know I've, I've helped at least six or seven people as of today already become inspired to start the cleanse. And if you, I, I believe that Joe Schroeder says this, I don't know if anybody knows who he is, he's a trainer in the network marketing industry, but he says that we're living in an inspiration economy and if there's anything that, world, that the world needs right now, it needs to be inspired. People need to be inspired. They need to be inspired to get off their asses and take some action and to pursue their passions and to, to really live their dreams. So if I'm doing that, uh, that is completely fulfilling to me. Uh, that makes me so stoked that I'm able to do that You know, from 
in the middle of the South Pacific, in the middle of the ocean, you know, out of touch with a lot of the rest of the world that I'm able to connect through social media, through my blog, through Facebook and Twitter, and this video camera. So technology is really cool right now and it, we can really use it with our voice as a force for change in the world. And I'm just excited to see what happens over the next couple of years. And uh, not only with you know health and wellness, but with business and, and all the other things that I'm into. So uh, that was day six. Uh, I don't know, I don't have a whole lot to talk about cleansing wise. My body's feeling good. I, I have to pee about 100 times a day and I'm just having a whole lot of fun. So I'm definitely, I definitely wanna eat. I definitely talk about eating a lot, but uh, I'm gonna keep on trucking and keep moving. And just a word of advice, uh, I'm an extreme person. So for me, 30 days, that's just something that happens in my mind. I, I always wanna go to the extreme. It's not about competing or you know being the best or anything like that for me. That's just, that's just the way I am. I go from one extreme to the other. And uh, I know a lot of people out there can't do 30 days and they don't want to do 30 days. Do what feels good in your body. Do what do what you get intuitively and take it on. Um, I think that 10 days is, you know, fairly easily, fairly easy and it's the minimum uh, to really start seeing results. So I hope you took a lot from this and uh, that you subscribe to this channel and come back and check out day seven uh, through 30 because I'm going to be doing a whole lot more and I'll be talking about a whole lot of other cool stuff. So have a wonderful day and aloha.